In this video, I wanted to kind of walk you through how you can really kind of master the cover three match defense in Madden 22, how you can also kind of practically put some uh, parameters around or some principles that's going to help you be more effective in utilizing it against the right formations and also having check calls that you can do so that you can actually be able to utilize matching principles regardless of what the offense does. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to encourage you right now to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is completely free to subscribe to the channel and it also allows you to stay up to date whenever we release new videos. I post multiple videos every single day, so if you want to stay up to date on everything, hit that subscribe button. Uh, in this video, we're taking a look at the nickel normal defense out of the San Francisco 49ers playbook. And I actually just put out a major, major update to my nickel normal defense uh, today in our Patreon membership. So if you're wanting to learn uh, exactly what I do with this defense, join the Patreon. It's just $10 a month. And not only are you going to get the nickel normal defense, but you're actually going to get all of my 15 Madden 22 uh, offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to get access to all of that stuff, as well as weekly updates, whenever I need to tweak stuff, or whenever we want to break down pro player um, film rooms, you get access to everything for just $10 a month. So if you want to sign up, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of the video. So cover three match or cover three buzz match is what we're going to actually kind of talk a little bit more about today um, is a defense that we want to utilize that is going to help us significantly when we talk about defending uh, two by two per uh, sets. So let me give you an example of what a two by two set is. Uh, split t twins, honestly, uh, could be considered a two by two set, right? You have two twins uh, to the left, if you will. Deuce Close is actually a two by two set, but we also know that um, cover three buzz or cover three match does not really work very well against compression sets or trip sets. So for example, uh, it doesn't work as well against bunch. It doesn't work as well against like gun tight, but it does work very well against formations like um, the, the gun doubles, the empty base flex, the motion over from trips. So like out of trip side in, whenever they motion a, re a receiver over to the tight end side or out of tray open, for example, if they motion receiver across, uh, spread wide flex is uh, really what this is kind of built uh, to defend. And that is what we want to talk about today. So if they motion out of a spread set, so let's say like they come out and spread, right? But what they're going to do is they're going to go ahead and motion uh, out of it because they want to kind of manipulate your cover three match. Well, then that scenario, that's where I like to go ahead and put the cover four uh, or the cover six and the cover four palms in my audibles for those situations. And then you see here I have the cover three buzz match week. I'm also going to put the cover three buzz match in here. And then if I see a nickel, like a set, like what we're just seeing with a spread wide flex, then I'll probably come out and cover three match. Um, but, you know, I've got everything equipped here in terms of my audibles uh, to be able to handle, you know, any kind of situation that they might throw at me. And that's really what is, you know, important about understanding how a cover three match defense works. Now, um, what you're going to notice within cover three match is it actually looks very similar to the cover one defense. As you can see right here, um, you know, you, this is literally, if, you, if I were to call cover one hole, this is exactly pretty much how the defense would look, um, which is really, really cool. Now, the other thing that I want to just quickly hit on here is one of the things that I like to recommend whenever running a cover three match style of defense um, or even a cover three buzz match is to user uh, the hook curl that is on the left side or the, the, the side of the screen with the fewer receiving threats. So if this was... Like in this example, be Greenlaw. One of the things that's also, I think, important to point out here um, is let's say, for example, I was in like this gun normal Y off, and I was in, but let's say, for example, you're facing trip side in, and they, they, you know, one of the things that you're going to do is you're going to say, well, I'm going to check, you know, I'm going to check into this whenever I see them motion. Well, if they motion, then if you take a look at this, you're going to notice that the three wide receiver side now goes from the left side to the right side. And that's that's kind of the piece that I wanted to just kind of quickly emphasize. Now, what makes this so good 
is that let's say for example that you know they're gonna try to try to throw a seam streak right up the middle uh, to uh, the safety or this uh, tight end. What you're gonna notice about cover three match is this is actually gonna be fairly well covered because the seam flat is gonna carry the seam vertically. So if the um, essentially if the slots go on vertical routes, the seam flats will carry them. Let me give you an example. So let's say, for example, that we take Tyler Higby and we put him on an out route and then we put Jefferson on a, um, a smoke screen. If you watch the seam flat, he's going to go on a vertical route so the guy matches him and actually doesn't guard the smoke screen, if you will. Okay. Um, another good example would be a smash concept. Um, this is going to play really well in these smash concepts. You're going to see they're going to be forced to have to check the ball underneath. Um, if they're running if they're running something like that what I really like about this concept though is let's say for example you're trying to defend something like smash and we're gonna go ahead and run this cover three match I want you to watch what happens on this concept this is what makes this defense so good the three level flood out of two by two and what makes it good against bunch or trips is palms uh, pretty much guards the three by the three level flood um, against those sets, but against against this, watch this real quick. You're going to notice that this hook curl defender on the strong side of the formation is actually going to guard the running back if he are, if he goes to the flat. You've got this guy defending here, and then you've got this guy uh, defending the corner for really really good defense on these concepts. Now let's say for example that we get a concept that looks kind of like this, and again I just want you to kind of again just kind of think about some of the different concepts that you've seen. So for example, why sail? Um, you're gonna notice here that you get this match on the number one on the left side. You see that right there? See how he matches them across the formation really well. So what's really important to take away from this is we have great matching concepts, but we have to understand a little bit of how the principles work. And basically what it comes down to, you'll see like right here, for example, um, see how that crossing around gets matched really well across the formation. So what you wanna do from a user perspective is ideally you could either user this guy, uh, Tart, or you could user this linebacker. Now, you obviously wanna put your user on the blitz, of course, um, and what we're actually gonna do here is we're gonna drop a bluff blitz defender on the right side of the screen. So I put my defensive end on the right side in a bluff blitz. Uh, and, and really, to be clear, you just want to drop that bluff blitz player on the side the running back is. Okay, That's going to help you in your defense. It's going to help you guard the running back a little bit more effectively. And then you want to drop the other side uh, defender into either a vertical hook or a quarterback spy. So you could drop this defensive tackle or you could drop the defensive end. If you drop the defensive tackle, what's nice is you can put him into a hook curl um, if you drop the other guy, then you can put him into a vertical hook, but those are both fine. And what you're going to notice here, this is one of the best concepts in the gun spread, the circle play, and you see that it's a bang-bang throw, right? Oftentimes, that's not really going to be there for them, and obviously, you have complete freedom with your user. Now, let me give you a quick example of another concept that uh, is really popular, and that's the PA deep outs. And what you're going to see with this is if you take a look at this, you're gonna notice that the safety in the middle of the field is kind of there. And the other thing that I wanna quickly point out about this is he honestly doesn't need to be, right? And I'm gonna illustrate this by spying him and I'm gonna go back to PAD bats now because Cooper Cup does have a route running ability it is gonna help him get over the top of this. But I want you to watch how good the seam flat does at carrying it. He is a little bit behind him here. So obviously the having the deep third would be helpful. But I'm just trying to get at the point of saying, you if if it's just a straight if it's just a straight like seam read or something, and they don't have um, you know very good route running, the deep blue zones really aren't like critical. Okay, they're really not. So what you can do is play a basically kind of like a similar way that the Seahawks kind of play uh, whenever they run a defense like this, and basically what that would look like. Is we're gonna man cut. We're gonna put both of our corners on the outside in man coverage, and then we're gonna be responsible over the middle of the field for any kind of like skinny post, like to play uh, PA deep outs. But what you're gonna notice now is it doesn't sacrifice your coverage. Your coverage rules are still the same. You see something like this, you could take that, 
But that's just another way at which you could maybe maybe get some better uh, pressing animations. That's kind of what they're going to do anyway, to be honest. But it does help you defend them, in, in specifically in concepts uh, uh, like Smash. So if I have these guys on the outside manned up, and then I have these little seam flats, you're going to notice that, look at this right here, we're going to play pretty dang good against this concept. Okay, So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. That's a little bit of a nugget about how you could utilize this. Now, let's say that they motion, let's say that they motion, for example, um, and let's just say they motion this guy to the left, okay? So now what this has done is it's basically turned this into trips tight in or tray Y flex in terms of how we want to defend it. Well, cover three match is not going to be very effective against a defense like that. So what we want to do is simply check into cover four palms, grab this safety right here, and now we are able to, you know, basically do the same you know, simple concept or simple defense against motion. And you'll see here that by and large, this is going to be very effective uh, against this, against this formation. Okay. So that's how you kind of deal with the motion of trips. If they motion either the tight end or the, um, the outside receiver, I like to check into cover four palms. And then I like to use the safety and basically turn it into how I tend to like to defend uh, trips tight end type sets now of course obviously we're kind of running some random concepts here but again this is kind of the the, the basics of, of how we do this now you could also what's really cool about this though is let's say I go to this cover three buzz match week well now you're going to notice that this outside linebacker here is on the seam flat and this guy is on the strong side uh, hook curl defender or you could go to the other one, cover three, buzz, match. I, I'm, that might be a little easier. Uh, but you're going to notice here with this, now you're using you know, your weak side hook curl. Or what you could do is you could go ahead, you know, do something kind of like this, if you will. Do a little uh, over adjusting. But anyways, now you're basically back at the same thing. And then, you know, lo and behold, they give you this motion right here. Well, when you audible to cover four palms, now you don't really, your user doesn't change, nothing really changes, you're still on the same guy, and you're basically, by and large, still doing the same basic concept, right? You're taking crossers across the formation. So, cover three match, cover three buzz match, cover three buzz match week, all three of those defenses, we break down in depth in our Nickel Normal San Francisco 49ers defensive guide. If you wanna get access to all that, um, I'm gonna put a link in the description to my Patreon membership. If you've not signed up for the Patreon membership yet, I would really, really encourage you to do that. Um, it's only $10 a month and it gets you access to everything. All of my eBooks, all my content, all my pro player film rooms, everything for just 10 bucks. We got 15 eBooks there that you're gonna get today. And then you'll also get you know new eBooks as they come out, updates to the eBooks as we uh, release them. We pretty much release new stuff on that website almost every single week. So if you want to get access to all that content, there'll be a link in the description of the video. Head on down there if you're still watching, you want to check it out and uh, click that link, you can go check out that Patreon.